Hmm. I'm looking for an adventure. You know where I should go? Europe? Africa? Asia? Canada? South America, perhaps? <laughs> well, have you ever heard the term slavery? Well, they're working hard for their lives. Abraham Lincoln vowed to end slavery in the United States. Slavery in the Eastern Hemisphere? As I'm about to go on that place, you are about to find out why. I will be heading to Africa. Just a, a couple of countries to the Middle East. Off we go! Agent Mike here, and welcome to another movie review here at Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer. You can see I'm in the jungles of Africa, and also um, here to talk about this 1979 film, Ashani. Now, in Ashani, it's about David and Anasa working for research uh, to provide antibiotics uh, to the people living in Africa. As Anasa goes for a swim, she is captured by a slave leader named Soliman, who decided to take Anasa as a slave. Boy, you know that uh, this movie has to deal with slavery. So Dr. David is on his way to find his wife to reclaim her. And so without any further ado, here's this next movie review, Ashani. Take it away. It all started where Dr. David and Anasa Linderby they are doctors with the World Health Organization. They are on a medical mission carrying out an incolation program as they visit a West African village. They are about to give vaccines to the tribal people. Their goal is to make them happy and healthy. Of course, they work together in the World Health Organization. Of course, this film also has another name. Ashani, Land of No Mercy. Once Dr. David and Anasa Linderby gave vaccine, David takes pictures of tribe dancing as Anasa goes swimming alone. Wow, the tribe dancing of Africa is sure to be a hit. Of course, Ashani was played by the greatest actors, Michael Caine, Peter Ustinov, and Beverly Johnson. After Anasa went swimming, she is attacked and abducted by slave traders led by Suleiman, who mistake her for an Ashanti tribeswoman. Boy, that kidnapping scene is so classic. As Dr. David Linderby 
overheard of what happened to his wife Anasa, they try to convince the tribe's people to help him and to look for some clues. Even the police can do nothing to find her, and David has almost given up hope when he hears rumors that Anasa has been kidnapped by Suleiman to be sold to Arab Prince Hassan. Wow, not even the police could solve the case. Of course, Dr. David Linderby heard of rumors that his wife, Anasa, was kidnapped by Suleiman, and Suleiman decided to sold her to Arab Prince Hassan. And now it is up to Dr. David Linderby to get help from someone and to go rescue his wife. Even the African authorities deny that the slave trade even exists in the continent. And of course, as mentioned, looks like Dr. David Linderby has almost loses hope. So that David must find help in a shadowy world where the rescuers of slaves are just ruthless as the traders themselves. Of course, David plays the detective as he tracks her across Africa and into the Sahara Desert. He is finding help through members of the Anti-Slavery League as he first boarded the mercenary helicopter pilot. Boy, it is a great help for Dr. David Linderby to go with him to find out where his wife had been with a group of slaves led by Suleiman. As you all know, this movie was shot in the 1970s. People think it is classic, but hey, this is awesome. David and the helicopter pilot, uh, played by William Holden, is on his way to find David's wife. Of course, this movie is packed with some exciting scenes and some nudity ones, which of course I will not show them to you in this episode. And of course, uh, it's an action-adventure-like type of movie. As Suleiman and the slaves are loading the raft on a lake somewhere in Africa, we see a helicopter with Dr. David Linderby and his helicopter pilot trying to shoot down Suleiman. Ultimately, it failed to do so, as a Shawnee has been waving at her husband to for rescue. And of course, uh, that failed either. As you can see, the chopper has been exploded and looks like Dr. David Linderby has survived, and he has to seek help for another anti-slave league person who can able to track David's husband. Meanwhile, Dr. David Linderby arrived in Egypt and hoping to find someone who can help him. One of the favorite parts of Ashani is that they are walking in the desert. The slaves and Suleiman, that is. This is one of the best classic parts in this film. Wow, here we are in Egypt. Whew, it's so hot because of the desert and it's housed the pyramids of Giza and the Pharaoh. Did you know in Egypt they have pyramids of Giza which is one of the wonders of the ancient world? So Dr. David Linderby seeks help of the Anti-Slave League in Egypt and so they are on their way to find Anasa. Along the way, we see the slaves drinking the water hole. 
Go, Dr. Linderby! And keep on rescuing your wife. Boy, look at those slaves and Anasa drinking water in the water hole at the desert. It's a little one. <laughs> wow. That's how it is. Meanwhile, Dr. David Linderby meets with the person who works with the Anti-Slavery League, Malik, who will be gladly to assist Dr. David Linderby to find his wife. Along the way, Dr. David Linderby trying to tame a camel, as Malik overlooked uh, how well he tamed. Then they go together and observe the slaves walking by and meeting with uh, some different kind of slaves, which is not Anasas or Suleiman's. Then, looks like one of the slave person decided to take... Uh, one of the holders to own. They are on their way to track the slaves and Sullyman to a different place. And when they stop to rest, they discuss what plan they are going to do to rescue Dr. David Linderby's wife. Other cool things about this movie? The coolest thing about this movie is that they're taking a ride across the desert with camels and people walking next to them. And of course, uh, they're having a showdown with a different kind of slave leader and they rescue different slave members and decided to find the home as Dr. David Linderby and Malik agrees to go with them until they can find the place to stay. Yes, indeed, they're still in Egypt. They discuss it with the people and they will be glad to find their new home. Of course, they are friendly, but these slaves are not Suleiman's. It's a different kind. And of course, the slaves follow Dr. David Linderby and Malik until they can find the place. Meanwhile, Anasa meets with a young boy and trying to fake the death of the guy. And Suleiman asks them to bury him. That is also another one of the coolest things in this movie. And of course, one of Suleiman's henchmen is about to challenge Anasa and decided to give chase, running wild and free in the desert. As the henchman of Suleiman follows her as Anasa happily runs wild and free. And then eventually Suleiman's henchman takes her down and like wow it's kind of like uh, a game uh, hide and go seek or playing tag meanwhile dr david linderby and malik who is seeking revenge on Suleiman, still trying to follow and track down where dr david linderby's wife anasa is as malik tries to teach uh, Suleiman a lesson about where the slaves and Dr. David Linderby's wife is located and decided that they're out there someplace and the slaves that they rescued they finally found their new home isn't it wonderful all right we're finally out of Egypt now as we can see what's next up ahead. Dr. David Linderby and Malik finally arrived in Ilat and decided to go further 
in the Holy Land. My favorite place. Here we are in the Holy Land. One of my favorite places. The land of Israel. And my favorite places in Israel are Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, Beersheba, and oh yes, Petatikva, and Tiberias. Dr. David Linderby and Malik arrive at the slave market in the Holy Land. And that actor, who's a German, is played none other than my cousin, Jack Cohen. He's one of the greatest actors of Israel. I guess I'll explain it to you right now. And did you know the guy who played as a German in the slave market is my cousin, Jack Cohen. Now, for those of you who don't know who Jack Cohen is, I will give you an introduction of it. Jack Cohen is one of the greatest actors in Israel. Since the 1960s till 2000s, beginning with Sarayim and ending with Aviva My Love, Jack Cohen has acted out movies, some of them with Zev Reva, and others, uh, he did some American and British and German films, even one Japanese film, and of course, uh, he also played in different TV shows of Israel, even the restaurant one, and also some television commercials he appeared, like the Waisaha Hummus. After all, Jack Cohen delivers great acting performance in Israel and indeed the world. We all love him so dearly. And that's a look at Jack Cohen. I will be reviewing some of his movies later on at Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer. But now let's get back to reviewing Ashani. As Dr. David Linderby and Malik decided to take a bid on one of the slaves, and as you can see, Anasa was taken into Prince Hassan in his room. Boy, he lives in the palace somewhere in the Holy Land. And of course, uh, Suleiman explains to Prince Hassan to take Anasa as Prince's wife. But Anasa refuses. And you know, this makes Suleiman and Hassan very angry. As Dr. David Linderby and Malik searches everywhere in the Holy Land until they eventually arrive at Prince Hassan's palace and decided to have a little talk with Suleiman why he did this. And so, of course, uh, they knew that Prince Hassan was taken Anasa as his wife, but Dr. David Linderby didn't want that. So Dr. David Linderby shoots Suleiman to his death. And Malik was so amazed. Oh boy, isn't it fun being an explorer to explore different places around the world? You betcha. As Prince Hassan and Anasa were board the ship and sail out into the Mediterranean Sea, Prince Hassan tries to propose to Anasa to be with his wife, but Anasa kept refusing. Dr. David Linderby and Malik arrived on the ship, climbing inside, and tries to deal with Prince Hassan. But of course, Prince Hassan was surprised to see Dr. David Linderby and Malik arrived and decided to challenge to a battle for Dr. David Linderby to win back on Anasa. And so Dr. Linderby arrived on board the ship and finally found Anasa 
who was with Prince Hassan. Of course, Prince Hassan wants Anasa to be his beloved wife. But Anasa turned him down. And so the battle ensued. The battle ensued. Dr. David Linderby and Malik battles Prince Hassan as Dr. David Linderby's heart is stronger for his wife, Anasa, as he teaches Prince Hassan a lesson and knocks Prince Hassan to his death as Malik takes care of Hassan's henchmen and he was shot to death. Finally, Dr. David Linderby reunites with Anasa in the Mediterranean Sea and they are back together again at last. Ashani was one of the greatest movies in the 1970s. It became a hit on home video. At long last, Dr. David Linderby finally found his wife, Anasa, and they are reunited at last. So in my final thoughts for this live action film, Ashani, it's kind of like a rated R NC-17 type of thing, and we see some uh, nudity and some adult content in it. After all, <laughs> what more fun in this movie uh, could have gone wrong from Africa to the Holy Land. <laughs> That's where my father is from, the Holy Land. And I really like the way how they acted and the sceneries were so awesome. The setting though is kind of like a mix-up and others, uh, they were great. You can take your pick for a rating, but on a scale of 1 to 10 for me, I give this movie 7.4. Give this a try whenever you can. So thank you all for watching this movie review. Remember, if you got any questions, comments, or requests about your favorite movie or TV show, send me an email at agentmikemtr at gmail.com. You can also leave a question, a comment, or request, or any movie or TV show you want to talk about on Facebook at facebook.com slash dragonagentproductions and become a fan. You can also subscribe to my channel on youtube.com slash dragonagentprod1 and leave a question, comment, or request on one of my videos. And you can even leave a question or comment on my blog at agentmikehub1.tumblr.com. So now, this is Agent Mike wishing you a great travels, and I'll be seeing you in the movies and TV shows. Catch you next time!